Hello you buggers, it's uh, Scott Grove, DMF Guitar, part 3. Let's go over here. Come here, this way, follow me. So everything is kind of like sanded to a degree uh, and it's been, it's all been fixed down to this board. Now what I want to do now is clean it up. Now what I have here is uh, stuff that's called plasticine, which is essentially um, expensive plasticine. And what I'm going to do is uh, hack a hunk off and start working it into the into all the gaps and everything. And I will also be able to just tidy up. Uh, a lot of the bits that just need a, just need a bit of extra tidying up. Yeah, that was really descriptive, wasn't it? But anyway, just hack a bit off, hack another bit off. I'm going to need quite a bit of this. Now this plasticine or plasticine is actually really really hard it's used for really quite detailed sculpting but I'll show you some interesting things about it as we go along so I'm just plugging gaps Great thing about this is it melts, and you can really, really work it in. And the other thing about it is because it's a, it's a kind of a. I'm not too sure what it, the base is. It's an oil base substance in there. Um, you can also use lighter fluid. In the same way, if you were using clay, you can use water to smooth out clay. You can use lighter fluid and brush that in. But the, the whole melting of it is very, very useful. Because it really gets in there. So this is going to take a bit of time, so just a bit of movie magic, we'll speed it up.
Yeah, we're all right. Don't moan at me. I switched my camera off um, so I could just get on with it. And uh, so here's the, uh, the final final sculpt before I start moulding. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I'll sit on it. Uh, yeah, before I start moulding it. Um, so I built up some areas, cleaned off some of the, the gaps, you know, all that sort of thing. Is it perfect? No. This is it's just a, a constant process of eliminating error, and you get finer and finer and finer. This is, once this is moulded, I'll be able to clean up the mould, and that will get rid of uh, lots more little bumps and nicks and things like that, and take off a few uh, uh, high spots and things like that. And then I can polish the mould up, and then I can cast it. And then once I've cast it, there'll still be a bit more cleanup involved again. But uh, that's that's how things go. Uh, so, on towards the moulding now. Okay, I have uh, what we call a uh, J-Wax um, solution here. Uh, it should give a nice barrier. So when I apply the fibreglass mould and you know this will help it just crack away hopefully I'm gonna apply it this is quite old I've had it in my uh, cupboard for a long time so <laughs> just see how it how it works out if I don't feel it's gonna be up to the task I'll uh, I'll then just brush in some Vaseline or something It smells like furniture polish, that's, because that's basically what it is. It's just the wax in spirits, white spirits or something. You could probably make this yourself just using some uh, beeswax and white spirit. Probably do exactly the same job. See what happens. See if it needs another coat. 